Hello everyone and welcome back to our quest series. This is episode 3 and in this episode we're going to work on our quest giver component. This is how we award quests to different NPCs or actors inside our level so we can collect quests from them with our main player character. So let's get started. Okay so last time we set up the interaction uh, interface and uh, now we need to actually set up the actual interaction events and so forth on our player character. So let's go over to our first person character and we're going to create a new function here. And we're going to call it the interact trace. And we're going to do a simple line trace out. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you would recognize this as it's pretty much the same as it is everywhere else. So do a line trace by channel and we're going to go from the player's point of view. So we're going to get the uh, player camera manager. I'm going to get its location. So enter location, and then to start, and the end point will be which way the character's uh, camera's facing. So do that. Get, uh, get the forward vector, and then we're going to multiply this by the range of our interaction. So this will be a, a float value. So I'm going to change that to say I don't know, two hundred. We'll adjust it if we need to and then we'll add that onto our actor location here currently going to keep that as a visibility trace but we can change this later on if we need to create a different channel we can do and then after this we're going to put this into a branch with a boolean and if this actually hits something then that's when we want to register that we we're looking at something in particular we're not looking at it then we want to forget it so let's actually save what we're currently looking at so take it out here and break it open and expand open the options you see hit actor you're going to drag this out and do does implement interface and if it does implement the interaction interface we'll put that into another boolean into another branch so and if that is true then we want to store this as our currently looking at actor. So we'll drag this out and do get uh so set what we're doing. We're gonna drag this out and promote this to a variable. And we'll call this one look at actor. Plug that in there. Okay, so now we've got this variable, we can now plug it in on the forces of this branch here. So if we don't see anything, I'm going to take a look at actor and put that as false. Put it there. Um, if we are looking at something but is not interaction interface at all, the false here is also going to clear the look at actor as well. Like that. And then on look at actor after this, we're going to drag out and do look at message. And that will display a message on the screen saying, looking at whatever object you are in the scene okay compile and save that okay next we need to put this onto our tick event so we're constantly looking at where we're looking at and then we're going to set up the interaction input so i'm going to go to my project settings go to inputs on the left hand side go to action mappings and in here i'm going to click on the plus button and this is going to be the interaction or interact button here and i'm going to use this on the keyboard it's going to be e uh, but you can obviously use whatever key you like and we'll close that down so now i can call the interact input action event which is that action event interact and for this i'm going to check if i'm actually currently looking at anything so i'm going to take my look at actor choose get and then convert that to a validated get that way, if, it is, don't, if I'm not looking at anything, it's not going to cause an error. It just won't do anything. So only on, if it's valid, we can take a look at actor here and do interact with. Okay. Now you see in this objective ID, we are interact uh, when we interact with something, we're getting this objective ID shouted out back to us from wherever object it is. So in here, we're going to set up a simple call to check this objective ID. So we go down to event dispatches and click on this and we'll do on objective ID uh, called. We'll do that. 
we'll go compile that and then go to its inputs and this would be the id we want to be objective for the objective id okay and compile that again and drag it out and do call and plug that in so now it knows what objective id is getting shouted out back out on the game so let's go take a look at how we actually interact with the quest giver themselves so whatever object you are interacting with we need to be able to get or get used to the idea of checking if we have anything else that can be interacted with so we create our npc i'm going to create a new fold a uh, new blueprint class character npc here And I'm going to add the quest giver component to it. There we are. And in here, we're going to go give it a mesh. That would do. Like so. And the quest giver component over here, we can click on the right hand side, go to quest data, and choose the quest we want to show there. Now obviously all of this is customizable and changeable in the actual editor itself so you don't have to set it here you can do it per instance just drag out the npc and if you want to make it per instance you go in the quest of give objective um, sorry quest give a component you'll see it's not available here and that's because it's not editable by instance so go into your quest given component class and go to your quest data and make this instance editable and then back in the world, I can now say this NPC, I can choose what quest data they've got on them. Okay. So I can give them the, this quest. Okay, so I'm doing it as an NPC, but this could be anything. This could also be an overlap. It could be a timer based thing, could be a signpost, could be whatever you want that triggers this adding a quest. Ultimately, once we do, in this particular instance, a quest giver component will be accessed by us interacting with this NPC. Now, if I go into the NPC itself, I'll go to the class settings and add the interaction event to this. Okay, so we have that interface there. I go to interact with, and what I'm gonna do is drag out my quest giver component and call interact with on this one. So interact with there and plug this in like so. And this is obviously going to shout out the objective ID like that. Okay, so now if we interact with our NPC, we should be interacting with the quest giver component itself and saying display quest. Now in display quest to test this out, I'm going to go into here and just do a print string. And we'll print out the quest details. So I'm going to take the quest data and I'm do oops, split that. Drag out from one of those and get data table row. Plug in the row name. Plug that in there. Out row, we're going to do break f quest details. Get the quest name, and that's what I'm just going to print out for now. Oh, and save that. So let's go into our game here and go up to our character, push E. Nothing will happen. And that's because our interact trace is set to visibility and character classes like the NPC here will ignore visibility. So let's change that in our player class. Go to interact trace and change it from using the trace channel visibility to camera instead. Right, let's go back to here. And E, and you'll see there in the top left, my first quest now appears. Okay, so there you go. We can now add a uh, display quest to our thing, and that's going to show us up as a UI, allowing us to add the quest to our player uh, player's quest log. And there we go. We've now got our quest giver print string in our quest name. However, that looks a bit dull. Let's make it so it can actually give us an actual quest with a widget. So let's create the widget in the next episode. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. 
massive thank you to all my patrons and youtube members for their continued support thanks for watching make sure you subscribed and i'll see you all next time bye everyone